Welcome to another exciting edition of Shiller Outdoors. It's 2015, uh, February. We've got some downtime, so we're going to be doing some training today. We've got uh, Jed, the blue tick hound. He's still a puppy, but he's been really doing a great job on blood trailing for me. That's why I got him. So, what we got here is uh, basically a bottle of cabbage blood. I've had it frozen, I put it in this uh, water bottle for safekeeping. And then basically your string with a drag rag setup. And so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, we're out here on my farm in Mineola, so I'm going to start right here, and then I'm going to go for a walk. I'm just going to drag this rag as long, and you know, kind of mimic a deer that's injured or a pig or something like that. And then we're going to wait about 30 minutes to an hour. We're going to go get Jed, and uh, I got a GoPro video for the back of him, so we're going to see how that works out. And I'm also going to be running the, the uh, main camera here. We'll see if he can find it and how long it takes. So. Here we go. I dragged the rag all the way down there, probably six or seven hundred yards, pretty good ways. But what we're trying to simulate is a deer that got shot. Obviously, there's going to be some foot traffic around where the initial hit was. And then after that, deer took off. We decided to go get the dog. So we'll be getting the dog. And when I went my did my track down there, I kind of weaved in and out like an injured animal. When I got down to the bottom, I took the blood kind of put it all the way around the base of that tree and then I have our drag rag hanging from that tree so that's going to be the goal is to try to find the drag rag huh. when I left there I went another direction I walked around didn't come back the same way I went down that way when the dog is tracking he doesn't get confused if some blood got on me or something but he should find the trail so we're gonna go get Jed it's uh, 1400 hours we'll give it about 30 minutes and then come over here and See if he can find the uh, find the dead deer or pig or whatever you want to call it. Let's see what else. Okay. So once again, we started our blood trail right here. I got Jed here, and my wife got me this little GoPro attachment for the back of his back so we're gonna get to see what Jed see is as he goes down the track there Jed's a blue tick hound he's uh he's about what six months old or so you can tell he's pretty much ready to go he knows what's going on normally when we get this rope out he knows it means it's time to go to work so he's anxious to go we're gonna get him started see what we can figure out let's see if we can find that trail
Good boy, Jed. There's the bottle that I had the blood in. He gets to eat a little bit of that. He likes to taste that stuff. Wow, good job, Jed. Good boy. Good boy, Jed. Come here, Jed. Come here, Jed. Come here, boy. Come here, come here. Good boy, Jed. Good boy. <laughs> so, don't know how long that took. You know, we, uh, about 15, 20 minutes maybe, I think. Uh, you know, he's only a puppy and he's still doing a really good job, you know, crosswinding and going back and forth and whatnot. So that's, like I said, 600 yards, if not more than that, it's pretty good ways. Good job, Jed. Good boy. Good boy, huh? Good boy. It's color. So like I said, you know, not a bad tracking job. Better than nothing, you know, the uh, human eye across these open fields like this be really hard to pick up that blood. His nose can obviously sense things that we can't see, so several times I was following him. I kind of try to stay back 20 yards, 30 yards. I got a shot collar on him, so if he gets if he gets somewhere where I can't see him, I can always call him back to me, and he's learned that that's what that means. But show you where we started off at. Once again, we're at the base of this tree right here. Jed's having a real good time chewing on things. Let me show you where we started out off once again. So, I don't know if you can see the truck up there. But that's where we were. So really, really impressed with him. Like I said, he's a work in progress. He's getting better and better each time we try. So I'm excited about having him. And Shelly Outdoors 2015. Now if we can just get something on the ground to give Jed something to track. That'd be awesome. <laughs> 